My dog Kobe fell in love with my neighbor across the street. He's a stalker. <laughs> Kobe is always there watching him. He's out there watching every day. He loves watching everyone that's out there go by. But there's one person he's particularly obsessed with. I was FaceTime my friends having some breakfast. And I saw these cute puppy face looking at me. Sure enough, she posts on TikTok. The next morning, my friend just texted me. He's like, hey, is this you? I'm like, what are you talking about? And it's a video that's blown up. It's crazy. I was like, you know, I'm gonna make a sign for him. He went to the store and bought construction paper and markers. He kind of just took it upon himself and decided that he was gonna make a TikTok replying to us. Immediately, I was reminded of my dog back home. I was just so excited to see him every day and be able to interact with him. This is how we met. What could we do next? Because I was like, I'll get him some toys. We set up a line from his window to my balcony. I went to Ace Hardware, we got some supplies. So we had to figure out a way to get the rope across. We screwed the line into our walls. We missed a couple times, but eventually she got a cannon. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right, we're making progress here. We just decided that it'd be a good idea to set up the line and send toys over. Sherwin sent over a rotisserie chicken. Seeing that excitement was just everything. A giant squid. <laughs> and a beer. The beer is his favorite, like his mom. <laughs> we never really came down from my balcony in his window. We just talked and communicated through that. We finally decided to meet face to face. When I actually met him, I was like, hey, look what I got. Seeing him enjoying these toys, it was awesome. It was like we had known each other for years. I'd say Kobe and I are best friends. He's the sweetest dog. I made a new friend. That's the best part about it.